IGA Meals and Minutes with Courtney Wise. Hi everyone, we have some money saving tips for you at the grocery store. Who doesn't like to save a dollar or two? That's and right. with me, this is April Henya. Now she is with the Frugal Friends. If you haven't heard of that, what is it? Um, well, the Frugal Friends is a blog where I put up daily, um, several times a day, good coupons that may become available, um, deals that you can use your coupons with store sales to get a good deal. Just overall, um, many saving ideas and tips for your family. Well, and I feel like you've really come up with some original stuff here today, and we're going to share it with you in just a second. But I'm interested, how did you get started? Well, I've been doing this for a long time. I have um, an aunt who is a big couponer, oh, and it runs so in the family. it does. <laughs> so um, she kind of got me started on it. And then after I um, stopped working full time and started staying at home, with my girls and I just Save money. Yeah. felt like it was more of a need and a necessity so just kind of went from there and just keep on keep yeah. on saving money. Well and what's your um, what's your address um, online so that we can start to follow you yeah. and start to saving money? Um, it's the frugal friends ky dot blogspot dot com. Okay well what's really awesome is we're gonna start here okay what okay. she did basically was planned for five days for yes. a family of four and here's the menu which I think is such a good yes. idea and it also helps people stick to their list right, right. when they're at the grocery right. store then she went to a Houchins market mm -hmm. and the receipt here I mean four okay correct me if I'm wrong for a family of four yes. for dinner for five nights yes. you spent forty six dollars right Right. <laughs> and you only went once. And I only went one time. Because sometimes right. I go to the that's grocery right. store like four times a week. I mean, that's ridiculous, right? And that's how you spend a lot of money. Yes, You're allowed it is. to say it's ridiculous. It's totally fine. <laughs> it is. Okay, so one of the ways that you said that you saved was mm -hmm. the um, the Pick 5 right. Meat program. Can you right. tell us a little bit about... Yes. it's a. I think it's a great way to save. Um, I think about $6 is what I saved buying five of... Um, the items that you can buy, you pick five for $19.99. Okay. Um, so instead of going in and just picking up one package of meat, then you pick up all five. And it's, again, a great way to get your menu ready for the week. So you just plan your menu around the five meats that you're going to pick up. Okay. And it's I, a good savings. And I think that sometimes people are like, gosh, 20 bucks, but you don't realize how expensive no. meat is. No. And then again, for a family of four. So I mean, right. like we have pork chops, which I mean, we'll probably. I mean, feed four, right. depending on who's right. in your family and right. stuff. But I mean, everything else, I mean, this this pork, and then we have ground beef for spaghetti was right. on your menu, right. and this is definitely right. enough for a chicken. family of four. And that in itself, I mean, just this pack was five fifty nine if I had bought it by itself. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I love this idea of the Pick 5 Meat Program. Yeah, you can, I think it's a good way to save. Yes, obviously buy that at Houchins. And then, um, what else is on your menu? You had, do you guys do breakfast for dinner a lot in your house? Well, we, we like to. Yeah, um, that's fun. We, um, we don't do breakfast a whole lot through the week with yes. everybody out and about, so we like to have it at supper time. Um, so yeah, and, and the sausage was in the pick five. With the pick five, okay. Well, so. And that would last you way longer. I mean, how many, I don't know how many patties um, is in here, but that would last you more right. than just one meal. Right. You know, so yeah. that could be like dinner yeah. one night and then breakfast in another. Right. And what you also did here is you had a couple coupons. Now it was only yes. like three coupons, and this is something interesting that I thought you said earlier, is that you don't necessarily have to be a crazy coupon cutter right. outer. Right. Um, but Because you only, let's see, there's maybe you say four or five dollars, right. which so she would have spent fifty-two dollars, right. but you ended up saving four bucks or so. Right. Right. So tell us a little bit about the couponing and how you just really have to like read the labels. Right. Well the thing with couponing is um, it's great and I try to use them every every time I go to the store. I try to, to buy items um, that I use. I don't want to buy something that I'm not going to use just right. because I have a coupon because obviously then it doesn't make for a very good idea or a very good deal. Um, but basically just looking at the sale paper for the week okay. um, will save you a whole lot of money and planning your meal around what's on sale for the week is a good idea. And, and so really the, the menu plan really will help a whole lot. Okay, well if you're anything like me, you're like, hmm, soup sounds good tonight, pizza <laughs> tomorrow, spaghetti the next day, but really and truly, I mean, I guess that's why they come out with these, um, because A, it's a sale, and B, it really does help you, um, you know, if you want hot dogs, here, they're on sale, right. and Memorial Day weekend's coming up, so right. there you go. Right, and okay. it's a good way to, I mean, like, just what you said, the hot dogs are on sale, they may not be on sale next week. Yeah, so you, you need know, to go get them out. Pick them up. Put them in the freezer if you need to or whatever if you're going to use them for Memorial Day. Okay. Um, well, you are a wealth of knowledge. We're going to take a real okay. quick break. When we get back, she has many more frugal tips from this mama. Thank you so much. <laughs> we'll be right back. 
So again, we have April here from the Frugal Friends, and mm -hmm. she is just teaching us all sorts of things. Uh, one of the things that you did that I thought was such a good idea was to use your menu, yes. put it on your shopping list, which mm -hmm. she has right here. And then w from this, I mean, you basically made your shopping list right. from what was on right. sale, right? right? Right. And then she sticks with her shopping list. I mean, it's something that's really hard to do for some yes. people because you see chocolate and then you want to buy chocolate. Right. And you know, you can't steer away from every single impulse buy. I've got two kids. When we go in the store, they want candy. Mommy, or, mommy, I yeah. want this. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I, I don't always make it out of the store. I mean, don't stress if you yeah. can't make it out of the store with just what's on your list. But you will save a lot of money if you'll make your menu. Um, again, make it by what's on sale that week and then make your list from the menu. So you're listing out everything that you need to make those meals for that week and anything else that you need, if you need milk, bread, flour, whatever, get it on the list. That way when you go into the store, shop straight from the list, Yes. go in, come out. <laughs> and as far as toiletries go, so sometimes you just you just have to buy those when you when you run out of them. Do you right. a lot of times collect coupons for those specifically? Yes. Because that's, yes. that's really where you could save money, yes. right? You can save a lot of money um, on toiletries, toothpaste, okay. toothbrushes, things like that. And it, just another thing too, um, like we were talking about with the hot dogs and things yes. that are on sale, when you find those on sale and you can use a coupon, a lot of times you can get those items for free. So you want to go ahead and, and you know, you don't need a year supply, but right. a couple to, to hold you over um, until the next sale. And then you're never really caught surprised either. Right, right. We had some tags here and you yes. said that these really helped you in the store uh -huh. kind of figure out what was on right. sale and what wasn't right. in case you missed it in the flyer. Right, right. and these um, I bought um, a few things just by using the tags when I got into the store. I noticed that they okay. um, were on sale so that's a good thing to be watching for when you head out to the store too. So just Maybe be aware. Stores. Right. Right. You have to be really organized to do this, right? I, I think I think that you have to constantly be thinking, like we were talking about, we keep saying with the hot dogs, but mm -hmm. you just have to kind of keep thinking, yes. okay, am I going to use this, yes. right? The more organized that you are, the yeah. more money you're going to save and the easier your shopping is going to be. And the more organization that you can do at home when you have more time, um, the less that you're going to have to be feeling like you're in a rush or maybe going crazy in the grocery store because right. you're ready when you leave the house to shop when you get to the store. Well, I love your ideas. I think that they're going to be really helpful for you out there, hopefully. Um, your blog again, one more time. Um, the Frugal Friends, ky.blogspot.com. And of course, we'll pop that up for you on your screen, too. I know I'm going to follow you because I think you have great tips. So thank you so thank much. You. And we hope you save a couple bucks this week. Yeah. Have a great one. We'll see you next time. Go to WBKO.com slash midday for IGA Crossroads locations.